Hey guys, Steve here from Bloom Audio. Today we're going to talk about some ultra portable DACs on the market right now. So when I say ultra portable, I mean something that's going to fit in the palm of your hand, be able to plug directly into your mobile device, that's going to work off your mobile device's power so it doesn't need to charge, doesn't have a battery or anything like that. So we've got four different options here today. So we've got the brand new iFi Go Bar, uh, the also pretty hot off the presses iBasso DC06. Then we have two from Questile, the M15, which is pretty recent release, and the M12, which has been out for a while, but definitely deserves a mention here as well. So let's take a closer look. To keep things simple, we'll go from least to most expensive with our comparisons. So starting with the iBasso DC06, uh, it's a pretty simple device. Uh, gives you, you know, a dual ESS DAC, all the things you would expect from, uh, you know, a high res PCM 16X MQA DSD support and all of that. In terms of the device interface, uh, you have an input USB C uh, that includes a you know C to C an adapter for C to A and a C to Lightning cable in the box for use with just about any device you can come up with. Uh, you get for output. 3.5 and 4.4 millimeter headphone outputs on here for balanced. So you're getting basically with all of these, you're getting two volts unbalanced and four volts balanced. And uh, that's a limitation of a device that's going to be powered off of your phone or tablet. Questile M12 is basically this tiny black obelisk with a 3.5 millimeter output on one side and a USB-C input on the other side. In the package with this, you get a C to C and a C to A. Uh, neither of the Questile DACs come with a lightning cable, so you will need a separate adapter or cable if you're going to get these. Of course, we always recommend, even though it's a little bit ugly, that classic Apple camera kit adapter uh, works perfectly. We've used some other ones as well but that's always kind of old faithful. But again, you get similar features with this in terms of you know, DSD, PCM, MQA, and this has an automatic high low gain switching on it. So there's no switch, uh, but it's detecting the impedance and outputting low gain for a low impedance device and high gain for a high impedance device. M15 is sort of like a bigger, badder version of the M12. So instead of the automatic gain selection, this actually has a high-low switch on the side. Uh, in addition, when you take a look at this, it has this uh, cool window into the circuit board there. And you get the 4.4 millimeter balanced output in addition to the 3.5 millimeter single-ended on this. So this is going to give you a little bit more juice uh, than the M12. But the, the DAC and a lot of the core elements of it are still largely the same. So Go Bar is the last on our list. And so, you know, some of this stuff is going to look the same from the DC-06 and the M15. You've got the USB-C. This includes a package more like the DC-06 that's going to include the Lightning, USB-C, and USB-A options in one package. You get the 3.5 and the 4.4 millimeter. Now, all of these have some sort of quality or source type indication on them. There's like a tiny LED on the DC-06. Uh, there's a little bit more clear labeling on the Questile M12. Uh, this has labeling on the back. It's a little tough to read, but it tells you information about what the source is. Now, in addition, this has some features the others don't have. So this will give you indication on use, whether you're using X-Base or X-Space, which you can turn on or off with this switch. This also has its own volume control built in, so it bypasses any volume control on whatever device that you have it plugged into and takes over from that. In addition, there's an IE match on this. The switch here lets you turn on an IE match either for the 3.5 or the 4.4 millimeter out. And that's going to give you that black background, that zero noise floor without any hiss or waterfall with 
a very sensitive IEM. So from a performance and power perspective, all four of these are going to be in the same range when you're talking about the 3.5 millimeter output. They're all basically going to be able to drive most of your sort of consumer type headphones, higher sensitivity over ear headphones. These three handle the IEM slightly better without the IE match than the Go Bar. But with the Go Bar, the, the, or with the IE match on Go Bar, definitely matched up with that. Now, with the ones that have the 4.4, so these three, the M15, DC06, and the Go Bar, you are going to be able to dip into some more powerful headphones. They're still not going to be fully powered. And once you get up to something at the level of like a Dan Clark Aeon series, you're really not getting enough power, even out of the balanced output on these. With the DC06, uh, there's, you know, good timbre overall nice natural presentation, strong detail. I felt like there was a little bit of, of edge on the DC-06. Uh, it was, especially in, in the treble, uh, which did give you some strong definition there, but then also some potential for some more sibilant frequencies on this one. Uh, but in terms of, I guess, being the most analytical, I would say DC-06 probably gets that. Uh, among these, it's also you know, the least expensive. The sound stage is moderately sized. It is really impressive for the price. Um, you know, solid imaging and sound stage, uh, especially. Again, all of these are going to work really well with very sensitive headphones or IEMs, and that's where this is going to shine in terms of the sound stage and imaging. M12 really does capture some of that essence of the higher end Quest style DAX in this tiny format. So you get a largely neutral sound, which is just a little bit of love, just a little bit of something extra. Uh, but in a device of this size, it's surprisingly crisp and detailed. Uh, it really uh, just, the, the overall tonality, the spaciousness, and the, the spatial features, the imaging on the M12, are definitely big highlights. I think if you're looking for a you know cheap, high-end, you know simple mobile rig for your IEMs, uh, this is really going to to do well. You know the DC06 gives you that balance option if you if you like that, so you get a little bit more power here. Uh, I would say just an overall tonality for my taste. I really like the M12. So then M15 takes everything you like about the M12 and just brings it up a notch with the balanced output with a little bit more control there. Uh, so M15, again, you're getting this crisp, detailed sound. It's very much neutral in detail, but you get just that little hint of something extra in there with the M15. And again, very strong imaging and, and spatial features and all of that. Um, so yeah, basically, if, if you like the M12, but you want that balance capability, you want the switchable high-low gain, M15 gives you that, plus just a little bit of something extra, I think, in there as well. GoBar is going to give you a little bit of that, that i-fi magic, just that hint of an analogy warmth to the tone. Uh, still very strong detail. Uh, but in comparison, particular to the DC-06, the Go Bar felt just the slightest bit veiled in the upper range, in the highs. Um, but again, it's a very, it's a smooth presentation up there, just a little bit warm, still strong detail, a great performance there. As I was saying before, um, with IEMs, I think this IE match, without it, I felt that it was a little bit more, had a little more hiss, but with it, I think it can go a little bit deeper. The best thing I had to test it on were my Campfire Solstice, which I think is about 112 dB sensitivity, somewhere between 20 and 10 and 12 ohm impedance. If you were looking at something more like, um, like the Empire Ears ESR Mark II, this would probably be the way to go uh, with the IE match to get that real absolute black, zero noise, zero interference with the IE match on there. At first glance, these all look like they 
basically do the same thing. But when you take a closer look, you really can see those characteristics that differentiate each of them. So for example, the DC-06 at $119 is, is the least expensive of these, uh, but getting the 4.4 millimeter balanced, uh, the power, the versatility, the lightning connector at the price uh, really makes this an incredible buy. Questyle has just absolutely nailed this crisp, clean, detailed sound uh, and implementation in the M15 and M12 uh, that gives you just the, the level of sound quality that you're getting in this form factor. And especially if you don't need the balance for the price of the M12 is just absolutely incredible. And Gobar basically does everything. Uh, great sound quality performance, a little bit more of that, you know, again, that iFi analog warmth to the sound. But when you add in the features like the X bass and the X space to that, along with the IE match, you really do get something special from the Go Bar. So with so much to choose from between the differences in tuning, price, uh, the packaging and all of that, uh, let us know which one's your pick in the comments. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can check out a lot of different portable and other personal audio gear at bloomaudio.com. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll be back soon with more hi-fi personal audio content.